So you think you know a thing or two about the cloud, right? Well, maybe not as much as you think you do. So today I'm gonna go over the top 10 cloud myths and misconceptions, and some of them are gonna surprise you. Starting off with number one, the cloud will automatically optimize your workloads. Well, this would be really awesome, but no. Azure doesn't magically fine tune things. You have to set it up and Copilot isn't gonna do this for you either. Now say you've got a on-prem web server and you migrate them to Azure. You put those in VMs and put them behind load balancers. And when your traffic spikes, Azure isn't gonna automatically build you another web server. But if you use tools in the cloud like VM scale sets with the auto scale feature configured, then you can monitor your web traffic. And when it hits a certain threshold, it can scale out or scale in. But you need to set all of that up yourself, along with the planning for your network space and security, etc. Azure is full of incredible tools like this, but it won't happen on its own. Which leads right into myth number two. Azure is really hard to use. Now with over 200 core services, Azure can definitely feel overwhelming, but it's not the Everest of cloud management that it might seem. And all of those services aren't actually for everybody. For example, I'm not a DBA. So while I can deploy you a SQL cloud, I don't know the first thing about using it. So if your background is more in development, you'll feel right at home with web apps and APIs. And if you have an infra background, then you'll probably wanna start with VMs and networks. But here's the thing, if you wanna succeed in the cloud, you should learn about the basics. And that's where resources like the Azure Academy and my book that's on sale at Amazon, shameless plug linked in the video description, and things like Microsoft Learn can really help you. So just drop a question on any one of my videos, I respond to all of them. Now, number three is that Azure is only for large enterprises. Now this one has been around forever, so let's break it down. Azure was designed from the ground up for everyone, from startups and small businesses to the biggest of global enterprises. And all of its services scale to meet your needs. Whether you need one VM for just a simple app or a cluster of a thousand VMs or 5,000 containers for heavy workloads. And you only pay for what you use. You can even figure out those costs before you build anything using the Azure price calculator. And Azure even has some free tiers. And by the way, if you want a video on all that free stuff, comment below with the word free and I'll make that video for you. Myth four is that the cloud isn't secure. Azure follows a shared responsibility model. Microsoft has the responsibility to secure the infrastructure in the physical data centers. And you need to secure all the things that you can deploy. And that's gonna be your apps, your data, and your access. And there's several tools in Azure to do this, like Defender for Cloud, which detects security threats, but also makes recommendations based on the millions of other customers and threats around the world to help you know exactly how you can lock down your cloud. And there's other things like multi-factor authentication, pass keys, and encryption to protect all of your data. But here's the kicker. None of this works unless you set them up. So don't skip this step. And we're halfway there with myth number five, the cloud is always reliable. Now, this does sound amazing, but let's clear it up. Reliability depends on how you architect your environment. Like security, there are two sides of reliability. Microsoft takes care of Azure's physical infrastructure, which is made up of over 60 global regions. Each region is made up of one to three zones, and each zone has multiple data centers and each data center has its own independent power and cooling network and racks of equipment. And Microsoft makes all of that physical stuff highly available and protected. Now, when you build your app, you need to build reliability into it too. If you only build one VM or one web app in one region, and then an earthquake hits that region, your app could go down too. So instead you should build your app using multiple instances and across availability zones or across regions. And you should even set up things like Azure Site Recovery, which will replicate your app into different regions. So when that earthquake hits, you just move your app somewhere else, which makes the cloud more reliable than on-prem. Myth number six, Azure is just way too expensive. Now I've had this comment, I don't know how many times. And here's the deal, Azure will be very expensive for you if 
you think of it like it's your on-prem data center. Before the cloud, you would buy a huge server with tons of cores and RAMs, and it would be thousands of dollars up front. And then you'd rack it, and you'd power it, and you'd cool it, and you'd have somebody who worked in the data center to do all the care and feeding for all that. When you turn on that server and you set it up, you're gonna run it for months or years without ever turning it off because you don't care, you already bought it and paid for it, and now you wanna squeeze every last penny out of it. And if you approach Azure this way for everything, the cloud will be way too expensive. But it can actually be more cost effective than you're thinking. And that's the key, you need to think differently. You need to right size the VM to match the real world usage for your applications. You should power things off if they're not needed with the auto scale tools. And if it's something that you always need to be running like a domain controller, then you should get things like reserved or spot instances, which can lower the cost up to 80%. And you should also think about modernizing your apps too, from running your VMs, which are more expensive, to things like containers or web apps. And you should keep your eyes on Azure cost management, which will help you track your spending and how you can configure budgets so you never spend more than you plan to. Myth number seven, migrating to Azure is too difficult. Now, any migration can seem like climbing a mountain, but it's nowhere near as hard as it looks. Tools like Azure Migrate will help you assess your current setup and plan out your migration in advance to move those servers, apps, and databases to the cloud step by step. And you don't have to move everything all at once either. Azure's hybrid cloud capabilities can keep some of your workloads running on-prem while testing the waters with others. Plus there's plenty of support like My Migration Playlist, as well as the Azure documentation that'll make migrating smoother. So is migrating hard? Sure, if you go in blind, but now you've got a clearer path to success. Which leads of course into myth number eight, once you're on Azure, you can't leave. Well, this is a huge misconception. The cloud isn't a prison. In fact, flexibility and hybrid management are some of Azure's strongest suits. So don't worry if you can go back to on-prem or migrate to another cloud, go for it. Azure is still there to help you with tools like Azure Arc, where you can manage your on-prem and other cloud resources using Azure as your control plane. Azure also integrates very well with other open source and third-party services, so you're not even locked into using just Microsoft tech. And all of the data that you have stored in Azure is your data. You can export it whenever you want. Which brings us to myth number nine. Azure is only for Windows. Now, that was true in the early days, but not anymore. Ever since Satya took over, Azure has been more about being open and flexible. You want Linux? Azure's got you covered. In fact, according to this article, Azure runs more Linux now than Windows. And you can use any of the open source tools you like, from Kubernetes and Postgres SQL to Python, Node.js, and a whole lot more. And it doesn't stop there. Azure Arc can also help manage your Linux servers and Kubernetes clusters too. So while Azure may be built by Microsoft, it's definitely not just for Windows, it's for everyone. And finally, myth number 10. The cloud eliminates IT jobs. Well, the cloud isn't here to replace IT pros like you and me. It's here to evolve our roles. So just think about it like this. In the on-prem world, IT teams would spend days buying and setting up and fixing hardware. And yes, the cloud will take care of all that stuff. But it doesn't just make the work disappear. It shifts your work. So now you can manage higher value tasks like automation, security, and cloud architecture. Instead of screwing in network cards, you're optimizing apps for scale and designing multi-region deployments. In fact, the demand for your skills has never been higher. So you should watch this next video to see which skills will elevate your career the most. Happy learning.